Okay, today we're going to talk about competitive adsorption. And uh, so here we've got a situation where we've got our surface with possible binding sites, yet in our gas we have two types of gas. Or really n types, we're just do it for two, and I think it's pretty straightforward how to go for n number of different types. Uh, the pressure in here, P total, uh, is equal to PA plus PB, the Dalton's law of partial pressures. So we've got <laughs> partial pressure A, partial pressure B, and the total pressure here. Now we define a sigma A as the number of occupied, number of sites occupied by A. Likewise, sigma B will be the number of sites occupied by species B. Then the Sigma bar is the number of unoccupied sites. And we know or we'll find sigma not bar as all of the sites. Uh, maybe no bar here, just uh, sigma not. All, the sites. all right, so now we want to sort of see what's happening here. We get binding of one type to it or another. We have an equilibrium situation for each independently. So like a K A and a K B. So we can write a separate uh, reaction um, for each a um, plus uh, a plus uh, s, I guess, for a site, product which is the occupied by a. over um, the sigma times the partial pressure of A. So <clears throat> see, sigma bar, sorry, unoccupied site. So this is unoccupied A. So here's our unoccupied sites, partial pressure of A, and the occupied sites. And likewise for B, and now we have uh, our expression for fraction we're interested in our fraction, our, uh, fraction of, of occupied sites. So that's going to be sigma A plus sigma B uh, over the number of occupied sites, um, which is sigma 0. But I'll just write that as uh, sigma bar plus sigma A uh, plus sigma B. Now let's take these, and uh, as we've done kind of in the past for the Langmuir isotherm, let's solve for sigma A. And then we can substitute 
these expressions into our expression for y. And we see a common uh, sigma bar, and we're left then with just partial pressures and equilibrium constants, which is what we often want. And just looking at this structure, you kind of see that it looks like we might expect, uh, based on what we've uh, accomplished for our uh, Langmuir isotherm um, in the past, in previous videos. Okay, so here's our expression for competitive uh, adsorption between species A and species B. Uh, let's look at a special case of a purely statistical case where the k's then are the same. So neither a nor b are, are favored over one or the other. And we'll define that just to be k. So just uh, substituting k in each of these places and distributing it out. Now, Dalton's law of partial pressures. This is the total pressure. And we can see it's Langmuir on uh, p total. And that makes some sense because if we're saying that there's no difference between A and B, then the identity of A and B don't matter. And all that matters is just how many particles of either A or B are in there. And then it just becomes uh, basically a Langmuir problem as we recover right here. Uh, let's uh, define some like, marginal fractions. And so I'm going to skip, skip a step here. We would, we would factor out a sigma naught and cancel it like we did in the past. I'll just sort of jump past that. And let's look at the ratio now. Um, num the chance or uh, number of uh, fraction of occupied sites by A, fraction of occupied sites by B. Let's look at A over Y A over Y B.
they each have the same denominator, and we get this expression. And so we kind of see the two things that matter here, the partial pressure of A and the partial pressure of B. So, of course, if A's partial pressure is uh, bigger, then uh, we're more likely to have A absorb. If B partial pressure is bigger, means there's more B around, we might more likely have B. So we have this ratio. And then we have the propensity to absorb, Ka versus Kb in this factor. And again, if it's purely statistical, then these both become K, and we just have the ratios of the partial pressures. Okay. Uh, we can go one uh, quick step further. If these are an ideal gas, uh, then PA equals uh, NA RT over B and PB equals NB RT over B. So PA over PB, I guess I'll just write the whole thing. RT over Vs cancel because we're at the same temperature and the same volume, and we get a mole ratio. And again, that makes sense. If we have more moles of A around than B, then uh, that's going to contribute to a larger fraction of A being occupied compared to B, but then also accounting for the different Ks. Uh, let's do a specific example with a little bit of numbers here. And let me see what I want here. I want, uh, let's let uh, let Ka equal 2Kb. Okay, so Ka is larger than Kb by a factor of 2. And let's let PA be one third of PB. So the partial pressure of A is a third of that of B. How many more times uh, likely is B to bind than A? Well, let's use this formula here. Uh, so Ka is 2Kb. And Pa is 1 third Pb. So two thirds. This is uh, this is a to b. So to answer our question, then uh, y b equals three halves y a. So three half times more likely. So there's an example of uh, with some numbers here for competitive uh, adsorption.